Okay, okay, okay. Free online SEO tools part two. Google tools that you could use for SEO that you probably didn't know about or just totally forgot about. Okay, so first things first, let's look for a website. Now, let me type in entertainment blog. I don't know. I'm just gonna pick. I'm just gonna pick up a random site here. You know. Um, let's just go to the second page. Actually, now that we think about it. Uh, right. Yeah. So this looks like a decent site for us to go along with. So SEO. Let's just say this is your website, as uh, bad as it may look right now. So what we want to do is. Hey, you know what? I don't know how my site is performing. Let's use a few Google tools to find out. So the first tool we're going to use right here is called the Google Insights tool. So basically, um, Google.com, developers.google.com slash page slash page speed slash insights. I'll put a link in the description below so you don't have to remember all that mumble jumbo. Now, let me just copy and paste in the blog and click analyze now what this is going to do is basically look at how fast your page is performing your website as a whole and what you can do to optimize it so yeah as you can see here they have a score of 72 over 100 this means that Google is saying you guys are here you're okay you're doing good this is okay right but here's something you should fix and then they show you how to fix it it's not really hard you can have your developer do this for you it's simply you paste replacing some code and putting it back into your uploading it to your server so isn't that very hard so we come to desktop right desktop 37 google is saying yo things are not looking good your site is in the red and it's redder than the background you have on your site. So these are all the things you need to do to fix it. You should fix. And then here are some things you should consider fixing. And then they give you, they tell you, hey, this is actually some stuff you've done well. So they don't completely bash you. So again, guys, Google Page Speed Insights tool is a good tool to use when you want to know a rough idea of the page speed performance, how fast your pages are loading and everything and how to fix them now as you can see here it says page insights has moved the user experience test for mobile pages into mobile friendly test which you can try out here so let's go do that all right so here we are type in the same url and click one test so it's analyzing 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 now this is a pretty new tool guys here but again it's very useful and can tell you a lot right so as you can see here it gives you a few things okay I'm not going to get completely into this but it, it takes you into a search console uh, to add your property it shows you exactly how you, it looks on mobile right you know then it says you know page is mobile friendly so tick right and you can submit it to google alert they show you what's blocked and you can see that over there so you simply go in and go into a website and find that url and remove it so it's this is pretty straightforward to use now when it comes to local marketing local businesses right this is something you want to do so let me just go back here There is a cool tool that will show you basically, you know, how Google views your site. So let's just say you are a electrician uh, in San Diego, for example. Right? I'm just this is just an example. I'm just giving an example here on the fly. 
So let's pick out these guys over here, which is Point Low Point Loma Electric. I have no idea what Point Loma means. They have a decently looking set website, so I'm sure they even listed in structured data. So here we have something called the Google Structured Data Testing Tool, which basically shows you, hey, this is how I see your site right now. So let's just paste that in, and I'll show you what I mean. So there. So this site is very well optimized. It's, 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 it's optimized. Because Google says, hey, this is a web page. This is an organization. It's a home and construction business. It's a website electrician. You know, yeah, here, here they have like a warning or two, you know, image, image, image. This actually is not properly done. I will show you an example of a website that's properly done right now. Let me just do that. So basically, this is an overview of what Google sees. Dental. Right? This is an automotive store. So it's running the test here. And what Google is basically doing is looking at your whole page into code and then just summarizes everything. Like you see, this is really clean over here. It only has one ever one warning, right? But Google knows exactly where it's located, right? It knows it's an organization and it has all its social information, including its website and the URL to the logo, its URL right over here. At the same time, it knows it's a local business. Now, this is so important because there are so many local websites and Google doesn't know you're a local business. So it's like, it's trying to place, okay, so where are you? What are you? You know? So here, right? Whatever warning that is, I don't know what error the warning this is, but look, you have your NAP, your name, address, and phone number, right? You have, you know, name, you have your URL, you have description. Description, as you can see, the description here also has their keywords in it. We are an auto body shop, so I'm assuming that's that's already a keyword. Auto body repair, auto dent removal, paintless dent repair, and much more. This is these guys have done an excellent job. So you can see you have all their social information here again. They have an image or price range where like Google wants, so that's probably a new thing. But you can see they have the whole address over here. So Google knows exactly, you know, who these guys are, where they're located, and what they're doing, and what keywords to rank them for. This is so important when it comes to um, local local companies. So let me just take this link here again because the thing is, okay, so how do I create? this code I'm not a coder I don't know how to do all this nonsense right now there's something here that can help you along the way called structured dead data markup helper so this is what you do you enter your page all right so let's do this so we enter page and we say it's for local business and we say start time and it takes you to the next step right which is tag data so what this basically does what this helps you do is basically you see the name of the business uh, let's just see point loma electric okay so that's the name there we go so you see you have your name that appears over here so once you filled in all this, once you filled in all this, for example, I know they have the address over here. This is okay. This is probably all the studio. Sorry, have you made a mistake over here? <laughs> so that's the street address. Then we have the phone number, right? So you go to address. It's not showing sure with telephone right there. You just continue highlighting or continue highlighting. You see, this is locality, city, uh, region, or county, which is basically the state, the state that you're in. 
and you see it just keeps on all, all you do is just you, you keep on you know highlighting each and every single area of your website until you basically have all this information over here or as much of it filled out as possible and you simply just click create html right and it creates all this html for you it just creates that summary for you so what you do is you simply um copy this you highlight it control a then control c you come back to your structured data testing tool and hold on a second here I don't do anything for these guys because I don't know who they are <laughs> so, I don't. so basically on this left hand side over here you could come in copy I, I don't suggest to copy all of this <laughs> guys I don't suggest to copy all of this but um, for the main for the main part of it you know copy I think from from here where it says HTML open tag to probably over here or over here well it will depend I can't look through the course so I can't look through all the code right now but Basically, what you want to do is make sure you find another code that looks like this. Local HTML. Only difference is it has, you know, a slash at the end. Just to end this video, to end this video, I want to give you a bonus tool called Point Blank SEO. Basically, what this does is it goes through your whole site and it looks for broken links. So just come here guys look at the site it's free it's a hundred percent free like all the rest of these tools so you just come here put your site in and it looks at basically all the broken links on your whole website so thank you so much for watching guys if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe